The hero Indian Super League has entered the business end of the season as teams rush to seal their spot in the top six. Match week 16 saw Mumbai City FC and Hyderabad FC continue to pull away from the rest of the teams. While it is a case of hit and miss for some of the others hoping to make it for the playoffs. Here's a recap of all the action that took place from match week 16 of the Hero ISL. Jamshedpur FC were looking for back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season when they welcomed Bengaluru FC, who were on a two-match winning run. But it was the visitors who took the early lead. It's ball inside, three waiting in the middle. It's in the eye in the back, it's not dealt with. A quality cross from the right-hand side in the seventh minute was turned home by Rohit Kumar, who scored for the second straight match. Despite some continued home pressure, Bengaluru doubled their lead with a fierce strike from just outside the box by Roy Krishna in the 34th minute. Roy Krishna finds the top corner and Bengaluru have doubled their advantage and the haircut works wonders once again. Jamshedpo had a great chance to pull one back early in the second half, but Harry Sawyer misread the flight of the cross and failed to find the net. It was a brilliant pinpoint cross from Ricky and Sawyer's not been able to capitalise. What a miss. Bengaluru assured themselves of all three points when, in the 62nd minute, Siva Narayan cut inside and fired home with his left boot for the team's third goal. It's another quality goal from Shiva Sakti. A brilliant strike from the youngster. Third straight win for Simon Grayson's side, and it keeps them in the hunt for the playoffs. On Thursday, table toppers Mumbai City FC took on bottom place North East United FC at the Mumbai Football Arena. The home side dominated from the word go. Everything Mumbai City touch turns into gold at this point. With Ahmad Jahu scoring in the fifth minute for a deflected free kick. A porous wall and Mumbai City simply enter without knocking. Six minutes later, the fans had more reason to celebrate when Hoya Pereira Diaz, returning from a one-match suspension, extended the lead. Lovely take by Chante. And still Chante left it for Pereira Diaz by order of the Sneaky Islanders. An own goal by Alex Sadji helped Mumbai City go three up in just 15 minutes. Exhibition football from Mumbai City. It's like the opposition aren't even playing. And then fullback Vinit Rai added a fourth just before half time with a long range effort that flew into the top corner of the goal. At this rate, Mumbai City could have a team full of left backs who can all score screamers. It went from bad to worse for the Highlanders after Vilmar Jordan was shown a red card in the first half just in injury time. We have a red card in this game as well. Jordan Gill has been sent off. Oh, oh was he held back? He was held back. And a penalty has been given. In the second half, the Islanders took complete control of the game and could have made it five. But Misha Michu denied Diaz from the penalty spot. Pereira Diaz saved. Des Buckingham side wrapped up their 10th win on the trot and looked well on course for an unbeaten season with five games to go in the league stage. East Bengal FC were hoping to avoid a hat-trick of losses for the first time this season when they welcomed visitors and an informed Hyderabad FC to Calcutta. The visitors made a great start when Javier Siviaro put Borja Herrera's inch-perfect cross into the back of the net Ninth minute. Beautifully arranged into the back of the net by Javi Siberio. Gave the goalkeeper no chance. Hyderabad 1 0. Hyderabad created a few more goal scoring opportunities. Kamaljit Singh kept the East Bengal goal safe from further damage. It is another big, big save from Kamaljit. The home side started the second half positively. Could have got their equaliser in the 68th minute. Beats of day, Jacob Silva! Just wide after a touch from Gurmeet. Gurmeet Singh's outstretched foot deflected Clayton Silver's goal bound effort. Good save. 
Hyderabad FC sealed all three points in the second half stoppage time when substitute Aaron De Silva scored his first hero ISL goal from a tight angle. Aaron De Silva <laughs> seals the deal. So those are the three points for Hyderabad then. And look at that for a celebration. Manolo Marquez, that's what he wants. Desperate to keep their playoff hopes alive, Chennai FC welcomed ATK Mohan Bagan to the Marina Arena on Saturday. The home team had a great chance to go ahead in the 19th minute. A flighty cross by right back Ajit Kumar found Anirudh Tapa unmarked at the ATK Mohan Bagan back post. But the Chennai skipper could only place his side footed volley wide of the goal. What a great ball in from Ajit because of him making that run across there. All the ATK Mohan began defenders have been sucked across and Tapa just arrives at the far post. It's a great chance for Chennai. Just on the half hour mark at the opposite end, Brendan Hamill missed a great opportunity to give his side the lead. Brendan Hamill with a header and I'm not too sure whether he touched that, it skimmed across his forehead but a glorious opportunity for the Mariners to take the lead. What a chance. It's three yards out, it's a free header, and he just tries to glance it rather than put his head on the ball. That's up there with Sawyer for me. ATK Mohan Bagan's best moments of the game came soon after the restart. Good save, Samik Mitra. Best move of the second half early on. Brunus and Liston combining, but once again it's Samik Mitra, the Chennai goalkeeper to the rescue. Liston Kalasov combined with Hugo Bumu to go through on goal and managed to get his shot away. But United's goalkeeper, Samik Mitras, saved it. So winless in their last four matches, Chennai went all out looking for the winner. But Bishol Keth kept them at bay with some fine saves. Give it away, Vinci Barreto strikes it goalwards and he's only just too high. It's a brilliant save from Bishol Keth who got a fingertip to that. The game ended in a goal of stalemate with a third straight draw for Chennai FC. With a four-game winless run, Carlos Peña and his FC go aside were under pressure as they welcomed Curler Blasters to the Fatorda. Just after the hour mark, Brandon Fernandez won a penalty for the home side after contact with Surat Mando in the box. It's Guarachena straight down the middle. And go and take the lead from the penalty spot. Iga Gorosina made absolutely no mistake from the spot, scoring his seventh of the season. FC Goa had a great opportunity to double their lead in the 40th minute as Blasters goalkeeper Prabhsukhan Gill came out of his box to stop a fast break. Noah Sadui went past Gill but saw his shot blocked by Hornley Pat. Here comes Noah once again, he's got players up for the he doesn't need anybody there. Noah Sadui doubles Goa's lead. Sadui did get his goal before half time. The Moroccan intercepted a poor pass from Sandeep Singh, kept his composure and slotted it past Gill. Luna with a free kick, where he excels out wide. The Amatakos! Free header, and Kerala back in it. The Killer Blasters pulled a goal back in the 51st minute when Diamantakos headed a ball in from close range from an Adrian Luna free kick. But FC Goa extinguished any hopes that the Blasters had of a comeback in the 69th minute. It's Redeem to land, it's a good sight to goal! And finds the bottom corner in the two goal push and restore once again for FC Goa. On the counter attack, Brandon found Redeem to Lang on the right. 27 year old drove his shot past Gill to the net. The Gores managed to hold on to their two goal advantage till the end and in their first win in over a month. Mumbai City FC and Hyderabad FC booked their playoff berths with convincing wins. Bengaluru kept their playoff hopes alive with a win at Jamshedpur, whilst Chennai played out yet another draw. FC Goa earned their first win of the new year with a solid home performance. The top four positions remain the same after match week 16 in the Hero Indian Super League. FC Goa move into fifth, whilst Bengaluru go past Chennai into seventh place.